Welcome everybody to the final day of HRX 2018. As you can see, we got a little bit of a switcheroo here. My name is Gabriella LaTiger Stevia Allen, joined by the John Finch, AKA Rap God. How you doing? I'm doing good. You call it a switch, I call it an upgrade, ladies and gentlemen, from Ron Jobber to the Finch man himself. Mm. You can't pretend like this isn't just a little bit better. Well, we'll have to give him an opportunity to answer that <laughs> later, because that's quite a challenge. Oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll want to answer. <laughs> Before we get some other people here from the red carpet, I want to know what are you looking forward to most here? What am I looking forward to most? That's a hard question to answer. Uh, absolutely, I'm looking forward to the Smite Finals here today. Rival, uh, going to be playing up against E United, so we're going to get a new champion no matter what. Hey. But there's just tons of cool stuff to be looking forward to. Uh, Hand of the Gods has their finals today. Paladins as well. There's just so much on the docket. And you'll be casting some Hand of the Gods, right? That's exactly right. I'm going to be casting Hand of the Gods. So if maybe you haven't seen it before, or if you're the biggest fan of it, that there's ever been. Make sure that you're watching. Uh, let me know all the times I mess up. I'd love to hear about it uh, on Twitter. Uh, make sure you let me know. Uh, just make sure that you're watching. It's going to be so much fun. Well, that's going to be super dope, Reno. You know. Yeah. We do have some people waiting on the sideline. Ooh, do we? Starting with Graham Hatfield, AKA Hindu Man. Come on, Dan. Who let you in here? Security. Hilarious. <laughs> that's why we pay him the big bucks, ladies and gentlemen, because he's so funny. I imagine if you forget your badge or anything, you can just like flash the bow tie and that's enough to get you in. <laughs> Generally, because I've done like four years now, like when they see me again, the, most of the staff work here all the time. So they see the bow tie, they're like, oh, it's you. Okay, yeah, go on in. <laughs> so it's not too bad. See, I had my badge hidden away somewhere, but then had a plate of food for everybody. So then that was a nice little distraction, not having to dig into it. Yeah, most of the time when you wear a suit, they'll kind of just let you walk in anywhere. Just look like you belong there. Come in with an <laughs> air of confidence. Pretend like you have uh, an Avengers like sort of earpiece in. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm very important here. And you can just get in anywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's just that easy. Graham, <laughs> I want to ask you a little bit here about what you're expecting. I think you actually predicted these Smite Finals would go oh this way. Oh my gosh, Tell yes. me a little bit about those predictions and what you're expecting from today. I'm just lucky. Legit, I, I just guessed, and my guess was good, and now I'm a genius. That's pretty much the way it's going to go on that. Realistically, though, I think it should go four games at least, hoping for five, because that makes a really good final. Move that down a little bit. It looks like you're trying to make me eat it, that's all. I'll teach you. Maybe it's he is. Okay. We'll get there, Finch. We'll get there together. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, oh. It's too early for breakfast as well. But yeah, I think uh, the Smite final should be really interesting today. We've also got some eSports announcements for Smite going on today mm -hmm. as well. Don't have a confirmed time for you guys, but I will be doing that with Harris Cooper, as we're both the eSports managers. We'll be talking about a little bit about Season 5 today and announcing some of the things to do with it. Probably not all that you're expecting, but as much as we can at the moment. But yeah, I'm very excited for the Smite. But not only that, we still have the Paladins, Hand of the Gods too. And then always afterwards, the amazing just recap of the whole thing. So as yeah. Finch mentioned, you had predicted this absolutely perfectly. When you went and quoted that tweet and brought it back to the forefront, <laughs> did it make you feel kind of bad booty? No, actually what it was is somebody else tweeted at me and told me that, yo, did you remember this like prediction tweet you made? And I looked at him and went, I'm a god. I should retweet this so everyone realizes I know I'm a god too. So, but now I am a god, yeah. yeah. I legit predicted the whole, the whole tournament so far. This is the worst thing that could have happened. We're gonna have to deal with this now for the rest of time, really, basically, just as his head continues to swell and swell. If E United win, then yes, you do, because that's who I predicted to win the whole tournament. But the way Rival played yesterday, that's why I'm predicting it's 3-1 either way or 3-2 in the finals. But I'm still <laughs> favoring E United just a little bit after that performance against Obey yesterday. So which is stronger, prediction god or rap god? You can, you can answer that. I will answer that. It's rap god. That's a very easy question to answer. So John Finch has just been fired live. Wow. Yeah. I am now seeking um, employment, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, can, I can be on stage. I'll go ahead and exit no, no, over no, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> After Hand of the Gods, because you're casting that first of all, right? Want to get me out of here I'm going to do that, too. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. I'm too busy. How much do you uh, know about Hand of the Gods, Graham? How much do you know? I know quite a bit. Like, I casted it back in uh, the early days of the PAX East event that we did. Actually, it was yeah, you, Gabriella. Boy. See, she knows Hand of the Gods, too. Actually, we don't need to keep him today. Yeah, we actually, you can do it. it's fine. So, I mean, you can go back to the hotel, get it's your stuff, and just. Starting to get. feel like maybe I've dug a little bit of my own grave here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, going to put my shovel away and hopefully uh, keep my job. It's... I do like having a roof over my head. You know, it's almost as if you said Finding Nemo beginning is oh sadder God, than the beginning of gentlemen. Up. I don't, what is your take on that whole argument? So I got to see behind the scenes of uh, the documentary of Barracuda and Jeff when that was being made. So I hit spiff after watching them and that made me cry more than Up. So it tells you where I stand on that. Up was definitely the one for me. 
Anyway, he's going to let me go now because I've got to disappear. I've got work to do. Yeah, he's a busy guy. Just sit here and like talk on camera anymore. Oh, okay. I miss those days. They were fun. They are fun. We'll but see you later, Graham. That's for us now. Bye. So you can Bye. zip and Go. let us have all the enjoyment. Bye. 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 So long. <laughs> Bye. We'll miss you. Bye. We're not going to miss him. Not nah, at all. Man. Nah. But for anybody that tuned into Paladins yesterday, it went for quite a while because we had some amazing oh, yeah. matches. We know who our finalists are going to be, and we actually have two of them waiting on the sideline if they want to come on down from Natis Vincere, a.k.a. Navi. Alrighty, I know everyone knows who you are, Spunky and Phoenix, but first I'm going to allow you to say something a bit about your experience yesterday. Uh, it was pretty long games yesterday. I'm actually really tired now. Yeah, it was long. I didn't expect to go to game seven and it was tiring. I was exhausted after the game. <laughs> so did you get a little nervous when Nocturnes were kind of just pushing the envelope all the way to the end? I mean, I kind of was starting to get nervous, but I'm always nervous in front of, before every game, so it doesn't matter for me because I already had the nerves there. <laughs> like, it was the same. They just kept coming back. Every map we were 3-1 ahead, and then they come back 4-3 and win it. I just hope we can close it out this time if that happens. And that's kind of how it's been for this whole tournament, it feels like. All these games have been so close, all these sets, like upsets and upsets and upsets. I mean, it, does it make it harder? Love the, the hood, by the way. I mean, does it make it harder for you all preparation-wise when, when things are going this long or you don't know who's going to be making it through? I mean, uh, talk to me a little bit about what that's like for you all. Uh, it actually gets harder over time because they start to like notice how you draft and you like you need to adapt to their draft as well and they they can adapt to your draft like usually when you start winning a game they get the time to adapt if it goes to game seven so we kind of at the end we had to adapt and yeah we are not used to that because usually teams have to adapt to us so that was kind of interesting but we made it work so one very important question that we have is how long did it take you to grow that beard Exa I ac actually started exactly when I started playing Paladins so that is a direct correlation of your career in Paladins then? Yes. It's like in those shows and movies where the longer the braid, the more people you've defeated kind of thing. <laughs> so does that mean that if you win here today and become champions, you're pretty much committed to just never shaving it off? Most likely, yes. I do have one hard-hitting question here. Is we do have, you know, Gabriella here with us as well, and we all know Nick is very, you know, important there in the Paladin scene. Who has the prettier hair then between Nick and Gabriella? Take a look here. Nick's not here to make a kiss case for himself, but we've all look seen how before. It flips. Look at that. Yeah. Who who would you make the, the case for? Who, who has the prettier? Hair? Think about who's standing right next to you. Yeah. Hi. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty hair has been here forever, so I'm gonna say pretty hair. No. Why? Because it's still longer hair. It's beautiful. But I donated my hair. That's why it's shorter. Well, he could donate more. No. What? Well, there you go. You might have to hold that L on that one, Gabriella. Fine. That's okay, though. We all know 1A and 1B, really, right? So it's, it's, it's very, very very close. I guess. Well, on a different note, though, going into the match that you have today, did you expect it to be Fnatic? No. We actually, everybody, I think, accepted, ex expected that need to be there, but surprises happen again, once again. Yeah, it's just, as Finch was saying, these matches have been super tight. Is yeah. there anyone that hadn't made it nearly as far that you thought was going to be a major contender for the finals? After watching the games between China and Fnatic, I expected China to like be here in the final because they played really well, but they, yeah, I kind of have to say they choked in the end. Um, otherwise, they would have been in Fnatic, and look at Fnatic, they're in the finals now, so that's just goes to show how good China actually was. Well, that does go to show. And like you said, it's it's tough when you make it all the way that far and you all are not quite able to, to make it in. So I'm so proud of you all for being able to make it here to the finals. I know you all are excited here for it um, and, and for this final event as well. Last thing I want to ask you all, I mean, with these events going so long, have you all considered, instead of going back to the hotels at the end of the night, maybe just setting up here at your desks? That way you can be ready to go at your, at the, Efficient. At your station when it's time to play. I'm not going to lie, uh, we were in the bottom side of the brackets because we were like well, four seed going in, I think. So we were always the last game to play it today. So I'm not going to lie, I took a few naps in the player lounge every now and then. <laughs> Well, there you go. Make sure you're keeping up on those Zs. Definitely part of why we're seeing you here in the finals here at this point so far. You all have been playing so well. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll let you go ahead and get in the right mindset for today because yeah, Paladin's finals is actually not that far off. No, so. not at all.
see you later, friend. Bye. Yeah, thank y'all for coming up. Appreciate it. That's pretty stylish. It I, is. I like the... I don't know how they can lose when they've got the duck hood on their side. Yeah. I don't think they can. That's all you need. Yeah. But switching over to a different final that we have coming up, Collis is actually here waiting on the oh. sideline to talk to us. So we come on Collis down, my friend. Come on in. We got Collis here uh, for Team Rival. Just such an amazing run that you all have had throughout this season here so far. I mean, I know this feels like one of those things you hear all the time, but I, the fans at home want to know. I mean, how much does it mean for you all when, you know, you stuck together last year is kind of a tough year, and then this year you've been getting steadily better and better, and now you all have made it to the finals of HRX. I mean, what does that mean oh, yeah. to you guys? Uh, it means a lot to improve so much over one year. Yeah. And mm -hmm. ever since Challenger Cup that we got together, we uh, said that we will be the team to overthrow energy. And we have indeed do it. Mm -hmm. We were eager to overthrow them, and we had a lot of energy to beat them. I know. That's exactly right. Before I hit you with the question, I do want to say the signs that people have are amazing. We see one over on the side right now. This is my user, Variska, it looks like. So <laughs> if you are here, you can actually grab those to write whatever you want to cheer from the sideline. But I cannot believe we are just giving those out, by the way. That yeah. is crazy. I mean, standing in front of a camera with a blank one is kind of, as F. Dot said, a little <laughs> taboo playing with fire there. But one thing, actually, I saw your coach in the back during that entire match, just sitting there intensely, you know, kind of, even though you couldn't hear him basically talking to you as if you were there. How intense is that preparation beforehand, considering you also have that additional resource? Uh, the preparation wasn't actually that intense. like. Since we've come here, it's, it was more like a casual, uh, just discuss what we already know. Uh, but definitely before we got to land, it was uh, really intense. We were losing all the scrims, but at least we found out all about uh, what is actually good and what is not good. Well, you all made it all the way here to the finals, Kallus. I want to ask you all, were you expecting it to be a United that came out of the other side of the bracket, or were you all maybe thinking it was more likely to be Obey that came out? Uh, we thought it would be Obey, but we kind of hoped it's going to be United because uh, we and Obey are scrim partners and we really don't want to have that scrim AIDS meta. So we, <laughs> we are very uh, happy that uh, United came along so that... And we've also never played against them, so it's going to be fun to play against them. Mm. Well, as far as the matchup ahead, it is United, and you think that was kind of the preference. Maybe you can bring out some of those pocket strats that you've been clinging on to. How do you think Rival is going to fare against United? Uh, I would like to have a good set of five, but it's probably going to go 3-0 our way. 3-0 the wow. way of Rival. Big words here out of Collis. And I mean, we know that you can back them up. Mean Jump, I remember yesterday, predicted the 3-0, then they got it in the console. Yeah. So I mean, predicted and you, and you just end up being able to make it happen. So I like to hear those confident words. Yeah. That's the thing. I can't even hate on the 3-0 prediction because the majority of the time people have said it on the stage has actually happened. Yeah. So also another thing we talked about just NA. Yeah. They are really vying for United as the representation there. What is your feelings as representation going against that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that NA in general is, um, I don't know what the word is. It's kind of like, I feel like they were always behind the meta, but I definitely think that the United is on par. So I'm definitely hoping to play them, and it's definitely going to be good games. Well, you are going to be able to play them here in the finals. And as, as Gabriella noted, it's finally going to be an NA versus EU final. In a way, it's an EU versus EU final, though, with them being E United. But Isn't this it way, so confusing? It, it is a little bit. Uh, if, only, if only maybe LG could have made it over. But we get <laughs> E United coming in here, going up against Rival. And like I said, it's kind of, it kind of feels like it's EU versus NA. But we very much appreciate you being here with us. Anything last that you want to shout out or say to your fans before you all go into this big set? Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out to my team for they're all uh, died on their beds tonight. They will not be waking up and I'll be 1v5ing people. Oh, all right. All right. Get out to 1v5. There is Collis as his yep. team won't be there for him. Yet. <laughs> Lots to look forward to with that then. Thanks for joining us here on the red carpet. And go ahead and get all set up to enjoy the event. What yeah. did you think of your first red carpet experience? I enjoyed it. You know, uh, Graham firing me was a little rough. Uh, would have liked to still have a job, but you know, hopefully it's not too cold tonight when I'm out there living on the streets and it'll be okay. 
Well, actually, you got to cast some Hand of the Gods yesterday, and you're going to yeah. be doing the finals today. What would you say has been the most maybe surprising aspect of casting that as opposed to Smite? In all honesty, the most surprising part about casting it is how passionate I feel like the community is. Uh, the players themselves, they've all been coming up to me in between games, talking about how much they love it and how much they, they've been enjoying playing it, how much it all means to them, even getting feedback on Twitter and all that sort of thing. So we do notice that feedback when you all at home give it to us. We appreciate it so much. And that's what I've really liked about the Hand of the Gods community. I mean, they're so passionate about this game. Any favorite tweets that you saw? Any, Since you mentioned them. Any favorite tweets that I saw? Uh, maybe not about Hand of the Gods. I did see some great mean tweets of Mask in a trash can after the LG set. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, that. You know, so that's always a great meme. Still fresh. Feel free to reuse that and at me in it. I would love to see it. <laughs> well, I don't know if you saw, there was somebody made the tweet from the Palm stage when Pretty Hair and Vox were casting, and it was Rain Day in the crowd, and it's when you see your partner casting with someone else. That's and it great. was just the perfect shot of all of their faces for it. But that means if you are looking to make some content on Twitter, use the hashtag HRX 2018 so people can get some eyes on your memes. But that's going to do it for us here at the red carpet. Any last words? Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. We've got so much action coming on today. Make sure that you have a tab open or a window open with this stream in it all day because you don't want to miss a minute of it. All right, well, time to kick it over to the Mixer pregame show. Take it away. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the pre-game show, the Mixer pre-game show presented with me, Kelly, and Golden Boy, and Fatag F. Dot, and Fatag. Oh, no, uh, there you go. Yeah, there there you go. goes. What's wrong with his head? What did you do to his head? I didn't do anything to it. It's been you on didn't? the ground for a while. I'm going to put it back there. This, That's this is long. not That's a very flattering picture of F. Dot, by the not. way. Not. I mean... But it looks just like him. Well, it is him. Like the shape of his head. It oh. really is. You know, he just really like is. Too. He really is a fat egg. Do you know where that comes from? I, I don't know, but the, I just... The fat I, execute? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I remember hearing that uh, season two or... Yeah, season two, and FDA was like, with that fat execute, you <laughs> know? Like, <laughs> it's also because they both sat there and went, what's the most insulting thing you can say that's polite to an extent? So they kept calling each other fat eggs. Really? The entire time. Now they made emotes of each other. <sighs> and then, so I thought I'd turn him into it like... They should get a room. They should get a room. That's what they should they do. They probably have. They probably, they probably have. <laughs> anyway, this is the pregame show presented by Mixer. And honestly, today we've got a lot to talk about because this is finals day. We get to recap everything going on yesterday and move on to what's going on today. But first of all, for you guys watching on Mixer right now, congratulations because A, you're going to be able to watch us live. And B, there's also a chance for you guys to win an Xbox One X Ooh. by making sure you're logged in over there on watching through Mixer. So, and you were talking about this recently as well, like the Xbox One is definitely worthwhile. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, I nothing scripted. So just just so you are aware, no, I own that. one. I went to to J and L in New York City. I dropped five hundo down on my Xbox One X. No regrets. No regrets. And these people don't have to drop five hundred. That's right. You get one for free just by watching the dang stream. That's amazing, Kelly. I just realized my makeup look makes me look like a complete ghost today. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! I'm actually dead. Like a, I died like last night and they just reincarnated me. It's okay. <laughs> we got like a gradient going on right here. We do. We do. Okay, I wasn't so white as it is. I get it. I'm brown. <laughs> well, no, 
<laughs> okay. I mean, that was Kelly who did that, not me, but yeah, we do have a gradient right now, that's for sure. I love it. Christmas, love it. Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future. <laughs> there we go, we're done. We should, also, we should, we honestly should do a show together. We like, should. Well, we're doing one right we're now. Doing one right it was now. called The Caster. Oh, we did. <laughs> it was called The Caster. Yeah, but we were barely on that. We were just You're judging right. them. We didn't yeah. do anything. We should have been on every. We didn't do any. We should have been the beginning. Don't we have to talk about stuff? We oh, do. yeah, my bad. We've got time, though. Sorry, let's get on to it. Smite PC yesterday. Sorry about that. Kelly, yesterday, Smite had some fantastic games, semi-finals and the console finals. What went down? The first set was insane. It was Energy versus Rival. Rival won the first two games, but you can see in that second game, Energy started getting momentum. And then game number three, they won. Game number four, they won with no contest. But then game number five, Rival took a step back, learned from their previous mistakes, and won. Who could, I mean, Energy is the two-time world champions, but Rival coming number one seed out of EU, I mean, I guess you can expect this, but it was still such an amazing set and such a surprise. After that, we saw E United versus Obey and Polar Bear wow. Mike took it the distance. PBM? Three. PBM. Oh, Obey Alliance winning second place last year, and they didn't even win a game, didn't take a game off of it. So we are seeing the classic North America versus Europe, number one seeded teams facing off in the grand finals today. And it's been such a, it's been a, quite a while since North America. Do you, so you guys, so you guys know as well, just if, in case you didn't, Polar Bear Mike stated EU sucks once upon a time. And since he said that, North America has never won a set against mm. Europe until Polar Bear Mike just won that set. That's the first time. So he's broken his own curse of North America that he made. The and curse? also doesn't help that he's in a team called E United. It helps. Oh, maybe, yeah, know? maybe that the or maybe it kind helps. of confused. Maybe it's like the time-space continuum believes that it's a European exactly. team because they're called E United. Or, oh. or the gods, since it's a smite, you know, the gods of smite. Sure. Something like that. That's Genius. crazy. That's really smart. Yeah. And then not only Smite PC, but we also had console finals yesterday as well. The best of the best on console who've been working all year have been playing along. And it was Myth versus... Astral Authority. Astral Authority, the favorites to win here in Myth, gaming the team that had to have another team beat a different team in regionals to make it here. And man, Jumpa went up in the interview and said 3-0 to Gabriella. And that's exactly what they did. Myth Gaming beating out the favorites to win 3-0. It was insane. And Astral, they've been dominant all year long. It's they so haven't surprising. lost the land. They've won nope. every single land in the console pro league. Well, they lost one now. Yeah, they've <laughs> lost three. <laughs> they lost one now, and that means that Myth Gaming, like, congratulations to them, though. I mean, they put a lot of hard Amazing. work into this, especially for a low-end team to come to this stage. And a lot of the teams that do that come with the idea that they're not going to win. Right. I mean, they went 2-1 to Strictly Business, who was the favorites to beat Astral Authority. So the fact that they were a little bit rough back then and then went 3-0 against Astral Authority, it's very impressive. Crazy. Well, that's it for Smite for now, but over to Paladins. You guys had another long day yesterday because those games went deep yes. most of the time. So we ended we ended at 12:40 uh, a.m. yesterday, Ooh. and um, but you know what? The good news is we had some amazing games. That's right, people. It was awesome. We kicked things off with Nocturnes Gaming versus Kanga Esports. The Latin America Cinderella story took out the Aussies, who were one of the favorites in this competition. Then moves on, gives Virtus Pro the hands, ends that one three to one, and then they move on into the semifinals. I could not believe what I was seeing. Hikate is an animal, okay? He is not of this world. Mm. And uh, honestly, it's Hikate's world and we're just all living in it. That's that's. I, I was living in it. I'm a ghost now. That's what you, you are. You are. You are. But it was it was awesome. And then on the Group B side, uh, again, even more uh, craziness and ridiculousness there because China Dream, they wanted to keep it going. They wanted to keep the hopes of China. But here's the thing. You look this, you look over here and you see something very interesting. It's Fnatic. Fnatic, close games against the Brazilians in Space Station Gaming. Getting defeated by the North Americans in G2 Esports. And sure, they were able to pick up that 3-0 victory against the SEA team, Entity Gaming. But it was China Dream that everyone felt was going to stop the Fnatic train. But Cybe8 and the boys in Fnatic, I mean, his ruckus play was unbelievable. And what? honestly, it's just... Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm like full Fnatic fanboy now. A because quadra kill with ruckus? Yes, no one, no one gave Fnatic the time of day coming into this one. No one gave Fnatic the time of day. And here they are, they're gonna go up against Na'Vi. And I didn't even talk about Na'Vi. Na'Vi went in a game seven thriller 
against Nocturne's gaming. The Latin American team tried and tried, but in the end, it was the veterans in Na'Vi that kept it going. And then well, the one that went till 12.40 p.m. last night, Fnatic, they just shut out Ninjas in Pajamas, who were one of my personal favorites to win this. Now it's anyone's ball game. I just want to see some great Paladins. And that kind of brings us to where we can see Lazy on the screen now, playing for Ninjas in Pajamas, who they hot put on a good performance, but it wasn't enough, quite clearly. Yeah, it, it, you know, it was a little uh, unfortunate for NIP. Again, a great team, uh, but it was it was kind of weird because like you know it all came down to like how the drafting went but then also i mean the execution was just not there for nip which was unfortunate but fanatic oh man this final is going to be awesome everyone is is pretty much proven that like the competition it's this close well i'm going to stay with you real quick because today paladin is up ahead of smite so let's actually talk about that a little bit Ooh. the finals around 12 30 today i believe on the main stage with everybody in participation who's your money on if you have to if you had to bet your life on it who would you bet so here's the thing last night last night on twitter uh phoenix sent me a a picture of him in bed as bed. i was working he sent me a picture that he is that he was relaxing in his bed hanging out and and because of that phoenix i'm going for fanatic <laughs> okay because i had to be here until like 12:40 last night in case i have to say it 30 more times and you were just lying in bed so because of that i'm going for fanatic but i, I still I love like you phoenix call. i do like that call kelly smite 3 p.m today for you kids at home est time kelly who are you going for? Based off of the semifinals that we saw yesterday, E United didn't lose a single game. It's true. So, although. But Callis took maybe out the Rival had to go. Yeah, maybe Callis Rival. And Rival took out the World Champs. Like. It's time for the Polar Bear, baby. I'm going to go with E United. That's right. I'm going to go with United. NA. Of course you are. You're Let's NA. Let's go Polar Bear Mike. Nah, man. It's a good story. I mean, I'm going NA too. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, what? I've really? been going NA the whole time this year. Well, you are. So no. the reason being, the reason being for me, just to be honest, is last year North America sent four teams, and it was two EU teams. The two EU teams got to the finals and won. Okay. This year, Europe sends four teams. North America sends two. Odds are the North American teams will do better this year. Okay. LG, but I'm going to talk about you. So but are you United? It's not even about who you finals. want to win. You just want to be right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know if they're going to let you back in. You know, if you decide to go back to Europe because of your predictions. That's true. Luckily, I get to stay in the lovely US of A. That's right. With a fantastic president. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, with that, we went there. That's what Listen, it's the only time I can do it, OK? Sure. Because I, I can't tweet it. Yeah. It'll <laughs> take my green card straight away. I'm gone. <laughs> That's it. Then I'm back in Europe before they know it. Yeah. They won't let me back in as well now because I'm predicting North America. Get you out of here. Messed up. But with that, guys, that's the end of the Mixer pregame desk. But we do have Hannah the Gons about to go live for you all as well. So make sure you actually tune in for that. Harris Finch, who was on the pregame, sorry, who's on the red carpet this morning, is actually going to be standing by to take over for that as well. So get to see him cast the finals there. But for that, that's it for us. You guys need to go and get yourselves ready for the day. We'll be back after the break.